Good afternoon. Today is a great day. I hope that you get in tune to listen to the podcast today. So today I want to introduce you to some amazing people in our community. But before we do that, my name is Mercedes Young and I am the president of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Tampa Bay at your service. And you can go to our website, www.tampahispanichamber.com. So that's where we are today, and I cannot wait to introduce you to these people. So today we actually have our newly reelected tax collector, the first Cuban Latina in the state of Florida, and a great friend and a great person to work with, Nancy Millan. So Millan Milan. She Mi answers to it. Me, yeah. For she answers to Milan. Milan, which sounds very exciting. So <laughs> we'll take it. And then also we have with the tax collector's office, we do have Marcos Villarreal. And I'm so glad that you are here today because because of his department is the reason why we get to know what we know about this organization, because he's actually with media and public engagement pretty much. So I got a couple of questions uh, uh, for Nancy. I'm really excited about this. First, congratulations. Thank you. And Be thank you for having us here. This is great. Yes. And it's a lot of things that we are going to, that I, I think a lot of people take for granted or just don't know that the tax collector's office mm -hmm. does, you know? So Very one true. of the first thing that I wanted to ask you is tell us about a little bit about the organization and what really does for the community, you know, for the 1.5 million plus people yes. in the community of Hillsborough Which County. Which is probably the third largest county in the state. Wow. Um, so that just gives you some indication of how big our county is and the number of people we serve. Yes. We have eight locations with um, a warehouse and... Um, am I forgetting The something? processing and operations. And our, and our processing uh, operations. Well. Uh, we have 410 employees. Wow. Um, our budget is approximately 46 million a year. Um, and we collect over $3.2 billion a year. Wow. Um, all of this is done with this, this staff of 400. And, um, we serve, you said we have a population of 1.5. Um, everyone has to visit our office at least twice because either you have a driver's license, you have a vehicle, or you own a home or a boat, and I can go on and on. Mm -hmm. Our office this year is right now at 1.2 million transactions, face-to-face -face transactions at the tax collector's office, which mm -hmm. is pretty amazing. And when we talk about the growth in Hillsborough County and the people we serve, mm -hmm. that's 4,000 transactions a day in our offices. So just to give you an idea of the impact that we have on everyone in this community. Yes. Um, and so we take pride in the way we provide that service. Mm -hmm. um, our goal is to provide amazing customer service experience. And it's mm -hmm. been my goal since being tax collectors to change the perception, as you know, mm -hmm. Um, everybody calls us the typical DMV. Well, we're trying to change that perception. And my goal is that throughout this next four years, we continue to do that and make it easier, um, easier access to our services um, and convenient. Well, in a minute, I want you to answer something. But before we do that, I want to tie in a question uh, to Marcos uh, pretty much about. So what are some of the methods or systems or or initiatives that your department takes to communicate, you know, to blast this information to the community? I mean, pretty much everything that's out there we use to communicate because everybody is on everything nowadays. It's not just the days where you pick up a newspaper or watch the evening news to get your information. Mm -hmm. um, we all in our hands have the smartphones. We are on our computers. Uh, we are driving down the road. Uh, we are watching TV. So we're using all of these different measures to educate the public on all the things that Nancy was just talking about, because we thought we have found and uh, one of the things that as a tax uh, collector's office, one of the things we want to do is empower the community, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not just come to our office and feel useless because they don't know what to do or what. No, no. Mm -hmm. all, we put try to put as much power into their hands. And a lot of that is education and yes. knowledge. Mm -hmm. And that includes our website as well. Mm -hmm. You can get all the information you need by going to hillstax.org mm -hmm. um, as well as following us on social media or listening to us on the radio or on podcasts like this as well. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other, speaking of podcasts, one of the other forms of media that we're using is Nancy had the foresight a year ago to say, you know what, we need a podcast to give a behind the scenes look of everything that goes on. Yes, I'm willing to bet all the people that are watching had mm -hmm. no idea that we did that many transactions with only 400 people 
uh, wow. in the office, you know? And so Nancy had the foresight to say, let's put a podcast together. And so we put that podcast together and she, she's a trendsetter because now other people are realizing and seeing, yes. you know, this is a great way um, mm-hmm. to communicate with the public and mm-hmm. to kind of, and it's always more fun too to get to say, hey, como se hace, como, como se hace el pan en la cocina, ¿verdad? We know, <laughs> we know how to do it because Nancy's talking about it. Uh-huh. Uh, and a lot of people don't even know that these services are available. So that, at least in my office, that's mm-hmm. our job is to get that out there and mm-hmm. let people know about it. That is awesome. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people like, what is the thing about the tax collector? None of the business owners in this county can be in business without going through the tax collector's right. office. I mean, we cannot get any of our certification if we don't have our tax plastered on the entrance of our business, pretty much. So with that, Nancy, I wanted to ask you, what are some of the partnerships that you have cultivated during your tenure? Gosh, we've had so many partnerships and we're so extremely proud, um, not only with the business community and joining chambers, just as you know, we are here today. We've made a point to reach out to every chamber. Um, we've identified business leaders within the community to help us you know, identify what the challenges are and how we can help. We work with the sheriff's office. We work with community uh, nonprofit organizations Mm -hmm. because we wanted to change the perception again about Mm -hmm. who the tax collector is. And we're not only there to serve, um, and it's an essential service that everyone needs. Mm -hmm. As you said, you need it for your business. Um, Folks need to get a driver's license to go to work and everything else um, is such a critical piece of information that we all need. Mm -hmm. But we also want to make sure that people realize that we're part of this community and part of our commitment to giving back to the community is being involved and engaged. And that's Mm -hmm. the one thing that I'm really most proud of, Um, especially being Latina. um, There was a great need in our community um, for an initiative that really um, takes a look at how we serve Mm -hmm. our Hispanic community. And there was gaps. And um, I've been really proud of my entire team and what we've done with the last four years in creating material in both languages so that we can help everyone with the same level of you know service excellent customer service experience mm-hmm. regardless of where you're from mm-hmm. these these podcasts that we talk about they're not only in english they're in spanish we break down the myths about misconceptions of what people need to go through to get a driver's license. Yes. We all know when you come from out of country, sometimes it can be very difficult. We've tried to make it an easy way um, for them to learn and understand the process and be prepared before they come in. Um, we've also implemented, um, we have a, a huge uh, workforce that's bilingual. Mm-hmm. We also even pay them incentive pay. So they are there and getting awesome. paid to help our community. We've also adopted devices that also help us um, translate in 82 different languages. So not wow. only for Spanish people, but we also have people from Ukraine coming here. We have Vietnamese. So this, Brazilians. There's a lot of Brazilians yes. coming to Tampa Bay now. So the great thing about this, that it diversifies our office, but also, again, to that amazing service experience that we're able to serve everyone mm-hmm. with that same level of service, regardless of what language they speak. So we're very proud of that. And again, these partnerships and yes. doing podcasts really allow us to talk about the great things that are happening within mm-hmm. our office. Mm-hmm. I know that you also create a coalition. I think it's for the first time. Yes, ma'am. We have a community advisory board, again, identifying leaders within our community that can sit down at the table with me. We give them our strategic plan, but we also listen and learn mm-hmm. what's happening in your communities and what are the needs. Mm-hmm. We identify those needs and then come up with action plans is how can we address those and what can we do to mm-hmm. make things better mm-hmm. if there's underserved areas we're coming up with strategic ways to get mm-hmm. those services out to the community and so with that being said we have other programs lined up that um, we're really excited to see come to fruition this next year Interesting, because I remember when I was invited to the first meeting to be part of the advisory committee. And at that time, bringing the service from the tax collector's office to to the grocery stores was a conversation. Yes. Well, it's happening. Yes. <laughs> now it's happening. And, you know, it makes sense because we all have to eat. We all you, have to You eat. know, we all have to eat. So I think that is a common place. So, but anyways, but with that, let me just hold a little bit to make sure that I add some information. So if you guys want to get in touch through the uh, with any services, 
with the uh, tax collector's office, you can call our office at 813-867-3550, or you can always go ahead and Google and find the tax collector's office at www.hillstax.org. And Marco, ¿quiere decirlo en español? Sí, es Hillstax. Punto org. Es muy fácil encontrarnos. Sí, sí, sí. En, en realidad, uno busca a Tax Collector y le fácil. sale. Lo o va Nancy, a Nancy, Nancy si Millán. Con Nancy el, Millán el, y te yeah. sale. Ahora, el Millán no es con Y, es con doble L. Doble, doble doble L. L. Así que y entonces nos sale. So, con eso, Nancy, la pregunta que viene, what's next? Because you just fresh out the boat again. Yes, <laughs> Pero sin parar mi... Palante, sí, palante, como decimos los hispanos, sí yeah. se puede. Sí, se puede. So let's yeah. see what you got in store. We have some really exciting news because we um, have launched a mobile ID program, mm -hmm. which when we talk about accessibility and bringing services out to our community, this is one way that we can do this. Um, so we have a unit that we will be able to drive out to community events. Um, it could be an assisted living facility and um, issue driver's licenses. Mm -hmm and IDs as needed um, mm. right on their premise. So we are very excited to launch this Great. program because again, um, it's important to meet people where they're at. Yes. And you know, we talk about the importance of having an ID uh, or a driver's license just to survive, right? Yes. You need it to drive, you need it to open a bank account or right. even to get so an apartment. Yes. So having ac access to those services is critical. Um, we started out slow uh, working with assisted living facilities and mm -hmm. homebound folks that aren't able because of some type of illness or ailment that can't they can't mm -hmm. actually go to our office. Mm -hmm. So we've already started visiting them at their homes. Awesome. Um, so you have a mobile unit? We well. Right now, How we have doing? a cart. All right. So, uh, so, but, next so by next year, 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 you should uh, have a mobile We're going to have a bus. <laughs> awesome. Because we do the back to school backpack yes, with a yes. health fair. Oh, nice. Yes. And this year, we were prepared for 500, 2,300 showed up. It was amazing. It w w took over. So it will be great to have you there. And why we decided to do it together is because the parents bring the kids. Mm -hmm. So we do it three weeks earlier so they can get also the immunization mm -hmm. shots and all right. of their, you know, materials. So definitely just yes. put us on the list. Okay. Black, black, the day, black, black the day. Black the day. That's our goal. And now See. that you talk about kids, you know, we also started a student Saturday. So we mm -hmm. have high school kids who want to get their driver's license, mm -hmm. um, but because of their schedules in school and sports and all of those great things yes. that happen throughout the day and Monday through Friday when mommy and papi are working, it's hard for them to get to our office. Yeah. So um, back in October of last year, we started a new program. It's called Student Saturday. Mm -hmm. We actually open once a month on a Saturday mm -hmm. so that our kids can come in with their parents to get their driver's license. Where were you six years ago? <laughs> when I had to take a day off, right? Yes. There you go. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know I what? remember that. Yeah. I had to. That there were 16 once upon a time. Yeah. So, so this has been yes. something really out of the norm for Hillsborough County. Yes. In addition to that, not only only are we bringing those services on a Saturday, but we also invite um, folks to come in so that they can get free services while they're there. Mm -hmm. um, we recently too had a back to school where we had immunizations and sports physicals, and yeah, Correct. everything. Yes. Um, we again trying to give back to the community and make it worthwhile for our families mm -hmm. um, who really can't make it during the week. This is yeah. another way that we are contributing back to our community. That's awesome, and it makes it a family outing because everybody in the family gets to participate. And, and, the, and the best thing is, and you're going to be jealous. All the adults are going to be jealous about this but when the teens go on a student saturday uh -huh. it's a celebration there's hooting and hollering they're yes. están yes. timbrando la, la campana oh, they're cheering there's a selfie wall because That's it's awesome. a big step in, yes. the, in yes, these it kids is. Lives. oh my god i know my son was jumping up for joy yeah. i was calling every saint i know yeah. <laughs> but anyways but this is really great i i do want you to know that uh, since I've been with the chamber, your particular organization has been key to what we do. And it prides me that I personally know the person yeah. behind, you know, this movement. And I tell people, go on your phone and you need to get your sales, that you need to get your business license and you can go ahead and apply right there on your phone. And, and it just feels great and it feels comfortable that we in the community, that we can be effective in moving because this is a metropolitan community. This is not a rural community. So we have to have things right there on the tip of yes. our fingers. And, and you are on the pulse 
details of what's happening. And then you, you, you're smart. You're good with what you do. <laughs> then you happen to be a woman. Y como si fuera poco es mujer. <laughs> so, <y> en Latina. <laughs> como si fuera poco. So I wanted to thank you so much, thank Nancy, you. because obviously it shows that you come from the heart. You come from the heart and we have an amazing coalition on our community and Nancy is part of it. And all of the people from the early ch early childhood development, uh, the sheriff's department, the city, all of us work together to make sure that we are in service to the community and not to take for granted the position that has been given to us. So with that, I'm going to share again, www.tampahispanicchamber.com. 813, me lo voy a aprender, 867-3550, me copié como en la escuela. <risa> el chichi. El chichi, no. Y entonces, el tuyo. Eh, nosotros nos puedes encontrar en la página web hillstax.org o hillstax.org. Ajá. Y también en, pueden llamarnos al 813-635-5200. Wow. 813-635-5200. That was good. Bilingüe de todo. So, muchas gracias. Espero que hayan conseguido información saludable para ustedes. Y en realidad conseguir su licencia no es tan difícil como se cree. Y está por una comunidad tan grande, está disponible por todos lados. Hay otro lugar que tienes que es una maquinita. ¿Dónde es que las tienen? Los kioscos. Los kioscos. Los kioscos. Localiza localizado en Publix. Hay algunos Publix ahora por todo Hillsborough County. Um, últimamente pusimos dos en Town and Country y okay. estamos buscando para poner otros um, mm -hmm. por todo Hillsborough. Donde podemos poner lo queremos poner ahí. Así es. Disponible para también para ese acceso al servicio que sí. es conveniente para todo, especialmente en un Publix, que ya vas a sí. estar ahí cogiendo tu comidita y tienes un horario que es conveniente. Sí, exacto. Y también porque está cerca de las paradas de buses. Así que lo hace conveniente para las personas que usan transporte público. Pero bueno, aquí podemos hablar y hablar y hablar y hablar de tanto que nos encanta nuestra comunidad. Aquí su servidora Mercedes Young. A servirlos, pueden llamar al 813-867-3550 y les prometo que yo devuelvo la llamada en menos de 24 horas. Así que muchas gracias y que tengan buenas tardes.